Well, let's get some insight on uh, migration policy now with Julian Lehmann from the Global Public Policy Institute think tank here in Berlin. He has advised the German Foreign Office on migration policy. Julian, thank you for joining us. We keep talking about this master plan that the Interior Minister Horst Seehofer uh, wants to introduce. What exactly is in this plan? 63 points. Well, we keep hearing it's 63 points, but we don't actually know what those 63 points are because the plan it's in entirety hasn't been published. Uh, so what we talk about is this very controversial uh, one point of the master plan, according to which Seehofer wants to immediately push back certain uh, a category of people, namely those asylum seekers who have been registered somewhere else in other European states, wants to push those back from the borders. So that's one plan, but we don't know about the rest of, of the master plan. What do you make of that very controversial point? Well, in short, uh, it's not possible, both legally speaking and practically speaking. Legally, because there is EU law foreseeing that uh, for those who have been registered elsewhere, uh, there is a procedure. You need to, if, if you think that some other state is responsible to decide the asylum application for a person that shows up at the border, you need to follow a certain procedure. So you need to ask that state you think that is responsible, you need to ask it, are you really responsible? You need to look, are there maybe family members in Germany? Uh, and, and so on and so forth. And all that takes time. And that in order for that procedure to follow, you need to let the person in. So you can't immediately push the person back. That's the legal part. And the practical part is, Imagine a situation where somebody uh, has been registered in Italy, comes to through Austria to Germany. Uh, how should uh, we be pushing back someone to Austria when Austria isn't really the state responsible? Austria will say, no, thank you. It's not on us. Okay, so that's why the Chancellor and also the Interior Minister Seehofer said that a European solution would be uh, wanted here to this crisis. Uh, what would that look like? What would a European solution, what form would it take? We always talk about one law that is called the Dublin Law, and that's exactly the law that I just talked about too. Uh, and there is, for, for a couple of years now, there's been talk going on about the reform of that law. Uh, Merkel has now, as you, as you said earlier, asked for two weeks deadline mm -hmm. uh, to achieve reform on that law, but I don't think it's possible to be reforming that law because we're in a stalemate when it comes to the Dublin regulation. So uh, I think what will need to happen uh, if uh, Merkel doesn't uh, want her government to be toppled, uh, I think uh, she needs to address this on the level of heads of state and she needs to try to pilot something uh, together with other heads of state that could sort of um, simul simulate uh, the future uh, European asylum policy. And that could be, uh, we, we let the EU decide a certain number of uh, asylum applications already in Italy, and then afterwards we distribute them across European member states. Uh, that's not currently what's going on, but I think it would be important to, to as I said, to pilot that uh, in order to demonstrate to other member states, this is working and we want uh, the, the future European asylum system to, uh, to function like that, and it's possible. What about Germany's specific case? We're talking about asylum seekers who have been registered in other EU countries. How many people are we talking about? Wouldn't most uh, asylum seekers coming to Germany because uh, Germany is a landlocked country already have been registered in other countries? Yes, exactly. Uh, so that's, that's exactly why we see the proposal of wanting to send people back. That's e exactly the case. Most will have been registered elsewhere unless uh, the member state in which they have first set foot decides to not register them, right? So you can, you can for political reasons, uh, and that's the danger, mind you, also of this whole proposal of Seehofer, for political reasons, you can very easily say, we're not registering the people, mm -hmm. and they still can, they can travel onwards, arrive in Germany, and that's, I think, what Merkel also fears, that if we now bilaterally go for border closures, what's the disincentive for, for Italy to say, okay, we're, why should they not stop registering people? And then, the consequence would be that we would have the cascade effect of more and more border closures along the way. All right, Julian Lehmann from the Global Public Policy Institute here in Berlin. Julian, thank you very much for that insight.